Hey guys, Steve here from Scotch and Things. Just want to take a look at a new pistol I got. You can see it's a Canic. Let's go ahead and open it up. I've been wanting this thing uh, since I saw it. This is the TP9 SFX. Um, I just thought it was a, I mean, I know looks aren't everything, but that is just a fantastic looking gun. Um, I watched all the reviews and decided, you know, I've been thinking about getting into competition shooting um, just for something else kind of fun to do. Um, and the reviews on this thing were great. And for the money, I paid $4.99 with tax. It was like $5.23 out the door. Um, when I looked at building a like a Glock 34 up, I mean, you're looking at five something just for the gun close to, oh, I'm sorry, almost six something for the gun. You know, if you want any slide work done, there was another $500, uh, extended base plates, trigger sights. So, um, you know, I'm a big fan of Glock, but I mean, I just couldn't pass this thing up. The price was fantastic. The reviews are great. Um, so I grabbed it yesterday and it's, I've already safety checked it. I'm not going to show you guys. It's, it's clear. Um, so I picked it up, went to the range yesterday and shot a hundred rounds through it right away. Um, I'll post up a picture at 11 yards. Uh, my first shots were all center mass, except for one. My very first shot was a, a low right flyer. Um, and that was just me. So, I mean, this thing shot phenomenal. Um, just like everybody says, the trigger is super sweet. There's the take up. You can see the take up. You hit a wall. I mean, it's a, it's a hard wall. You, you feel it and then it just breaks super clean. And there's the reset. So, I mean, the trigger on this thing, that's what everybody was bragging about. And, you know, I'm used to Glock triggers and you know what? I like them. Uh, but this thing is freaking sweet. Uh, this trigger is just amazing. Um, you know, the fit and finish is awesome. I didn't notice at the gun shop, there's just one little nick right there, but that's okay. This tungsten gray uh, slide finish, um, you know what? I hope it wears really well with holster wear because it looks great. Um, it just sets the gun off. Uh, it's got nice, you know, a lot of people really like stippling their guns or whatever, and I've never had a problem getting traction. But this side stippling, uh, it's real nice. And there's stuff up here to rest your fingers on. Um, the front is kind of checkered square. It's not super aggressive, but I find it great. And the back is a little bit more aggressive. And when you get a nice tight grip on the gun, um, it really, it kind of bites into you. And I liked it. I mean, I didn't have any issues with it. Um, like I said, it, and I really like the, the extended uh mag releases this is the i'm gonna try the others out but you know what so far the medium felt great i can you know get i don't know if you can see that but i can holding it and i can get my thumb on it without having to move the pistol around and manipulate the pistol so um really great i'm gonna pick up some extra mags uh the store had them for like 49 bucks um i looked online i think you can find them for like 30 so <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll keep shooting some more videos as I shoot this thing more and get more rounds through it. Um, kind of take you on the journey of uh, a first time competition shooter. Um, you know, it's just something to kind of fill time. So you just, you know, you get kind of bored of just uh, shooting at the, you know, shooting at the farm or going into an indoor range. Um, so, I'm going to give competition shooting a try. This next winter, I'm going to take a bunch of uh, um, training courses. Uh, I'll take you on that adventure, too. Um, don't really have time in the summertime because of work. We're so busy, but I can get away for, you know, a Sunday afternoon for a for a steel shoot or, or a GSSF match, with all, which I'll use my Glocks in. Um, everybody's shown... Well, I'll show you the holster real quick. I'm going to... I'll take this little strap off, but uh, until I get a holster made from uh, Green Force for this thing, um, I will use this holster, and I'll let you know how it does. I'm really glad it doesn't have the Serpa-type uh, finger 
latch. There is one on this other side, but it's just merely for retention. You don't have to push it. And it, you have to shake it pretty hard to get it to come out, but there's a nice click. Um, so yeah, I'll use this until I can get a hold of Christian. I looked on their website last night and they make them for the SF. Um, I'm sure it'll fit this thing. I'm not sure if they come with an open bottom or closed. So I'll talk to those guys at Green Force and, and get one made up and show you that when it comes. Really impressed. Like I said, only 100 rounds, but after what everybody else has said about them and shooting it, I mean, it's, it is a real sweet shooter. Like, you know, it comes ready for optics. Um, and you've got the... The four base pads here, it comes with a trigger lock, a little tool kit that you've all seen with a couple extra colors of the fiber optic, uh, the large and the small um, mag release, uh, a charging handle if you put an optic on, it comes with an extra back strap, another mag. Um, the manual's nice, it's nice in color, it comes with some cleaning stuff. Um, very impressed with this. I uh, had a buddy with me. Uh, he checked it out. The trigger, I mean, phenomenal. I mean, I can't, I can't say enough about the trigger. It's it's really nice. Extended uh, slide stop, slide release, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I was pretty excited to get my hands on this. Uh, I've been uh, looking for a while. I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, my local gun shop uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska, DE guns, discount enterprise guns. I know they're pretty big with online sales. They got a hundred of these in last week. Um, in a week, I think I checked, they've got live inventory on their website. They're down to like 70 something. So, you know, they're, they're going out of there pretty quick. Um, nice gun. I uh, don't know what else to say about it, but if you're interested, go ahead and, uh, it's, it's worth the 500 bucks, man. I mean, this thing is a steal with what you get. And how it shoots um yeah i mean if you want to if you're a competition guy and you want to build your own gun which i, I do want to do sometime you know i said that i'd never i wasn't a fan of modding glocks but i think if it's a competition type gun uh yeah then go ahead and, and mod it but it, it um I, when i looked at the price like pricing it was going to get pretty spendy so i thought for my first uh foray into you know target or competition shooting and and stuff you know this was less of a gamble and it was a great gamble because this is a, a really nice gun um it's also i mean just great for plinking at the range i mean this thing is super accurate it's easy to shoot uh distance with um and it's just a real joy to shoot so uh if you have any questions comments leave them below um and check back you know when the weather's nice i'll get out and get some video of it shooting uh it's been raining here and kind of snowing today so but i'll get out get some more rounds through it keep you guys um updated it did have one on the last round it failed to lock back uh just one time yesterday so i'll keep an eye on that uh someone suggested it might be a an issue with a magazine so i'm gonna mark them and keep track so there you guys go hope you liked the video really nice gun i'm actually going to be looking at getting uh some more canics in the future so really happy with it super impressed there you guys go the canic tp9 sfx from canic and century arms way to go guys good job